everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm back with another pick a deck reading. This is going to be what is coming up for you in your love life in coming two weeks time. This is a timeless reading so whenever you are going to check it, you know, from that time onwards to up to uh, two weeks time, you are going to get the messages for that particular time and frame. What is going to happen for you in the next two weeks from the time you are going to watch this video. So uh, I have two decks here, deck one, deck two, pick whichever deck you feel more pulled towards. Before I dive into the reading, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever is resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And you can also uh, check out um, my Instagram page where I do upload daily readings. You can also check out my sister's channel. I will add the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it. You can become a part of her YouTube family as well. I will be adding um, romance and lyrical cards as we as we go along. So yeah, let's get started with the deck one. Let's see what is coming up for the people who are choosing deck one uh, for the coming two weeks in their love life. What are the energies heading towards you guys for this uh, coming two weeks uh, time in your love life? Let's find out what is coming up for you who chose deck one. Let's find out what is coming up for you in your love life for the coming two weeks time. Three of Cups, wow, <laughs> okay, wow, paired up with Six of uh, Wands, so um, definitely you are going to get some sort of a good news coming ahead for you in the coming two weeks time. For some of you it is going to, um, it is going to be uh, some sort of a um, celebration that you're going to have with your close friends and family uh, because you are going to get some sort of a good news in your love life like you know it can be uh, it can be um, a reconciliation news that you're going to break to your friends it can be a proposal news that you're going to break to your friends and close family members as well so there is going to be something meaningful something beautiful something stable that that you are going to get in your love life in the coming uh, you know uh, two weeks time which is definitely going to cause you to celebrate uh, that one good news that you're going to have in your love life. Um, I feel like you know, it's going to be something very special because uh, people are going to, you know, um, people are definitely going to, um, you know, they, they are going to just, you know, um, for some of you, maybe you, you are, you know, coming into some sort of a, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe the person that you are dealing with is is uh, somebody who is um, who is famous. Maybe that could be the reason why people are going to acknowledge that okay, fine, you know, this is the girl or this is the guy. This you know person is getting married to or this person is like you know committed to. Because I feel like you know there is going to be that sense of uh, popularity that you're gonna get after you break this news or that news is you know. Um, shared with the people people are going to view you as somebody you know very special uh because because of the person that you are dealing with so it's gonna it, the energies could come reversed as well maybe you are somebody who's you know maybe famous maybe a public figure maybe you know you have you are a youtuber yourself or maybe you are uh uh you know uh some maybe social media star maybe you are somebody who is very popular in the in the community where you live it can be that for some of you as well, like, you know, but I do see that people are going to, you know, look at you and feel like, you know, oh my God, like, look at her or look at him, like, you know, um, you are the chosen one uh, by by that specific person in, in, in your life. So I feel like, you know, uh, for, some, for others of you, it could be just that the news of you getting either engaged or married is going to be like a you know, the talk of the town for some of you, like people are going to be talking about your love life after you share some good news about it. So definitely there is a positive good news coming ahead for you in your love life. And people are definitely going to look at you uh, in, 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 um, I feel like, you know, it's, it's, uh, they are going to be happy for, for, for your love life, but they are going to be I don't see that there is going to be any sort of negativity attached to the way the people are going to look at you, but I do see that, uh, you know, they do gonna, you know, uh, admire you for, for, you know, becoming who you would become as, as you accept this person, as you, as you get this good news or as you share or spread or, you know, uh, pass, uh, pass on this news to you, 
to the people around you. So um, definitely some sort of good news coming ahead for you in your love life department for, for sure. Uh, I will get into details of it. Let's take some clarifiers to find out what is it going to be for majority of you. Underneath the deck you do have the Knight of Cups. Underneath that you do have the Three of Wands. Underneath that you do have Four of Wands. For some of you, you might be getting the proposal coming from a person that you have been waiting on for so long. Because uh, it can be like, you know, it can be something that you have been waiting on for so long. It doesn't have to be coming from a specific person. Maybe you always wanted to get married. So, you know, so uh, passionately you wanted to have a happy home life. And now is the time when you're going to, you know, um, either going to get engaged or I feel like there is going to be more of a traditional way of happening things in your love life. So for majority of you, I do see that there is going to be uh, something very stable, something very, uh, you know, um, Something very stable, something very, you know, of that sort going to happen for you in your love life. Let's take some clarifier. Let's find out what the good news is going to be all about. And um, let's find out what else is coming up for the people who chose the first deck. What else is happening for them in their love life? I do see abundance coming up. I do see um, success ahead of you. I do see um, happiness. Um beautiful family time i feel like you know it's, it's more of the time that you're gonna have with not with not just your family but the family of the person that you're dealing with as well and now uh, it is something that you waited for so long for sure let's see two more cards please page of swords eight of swords i feel like you know whatever it is you could have had it back in in days like you know if, you know if if and only if you had um freed yourself from something uh, mental blocks uh, physical blocks um, subconscious blocks um, stop listening to what others are saying and stuff like that like you know I feel like you know whatever the delay has been in this whole good news to come your way it was more of you created those blocks you allow those blocks to kind of you know stop you from having what you are having now it's um for those of you who are still in a situation like this where you feel like you know it's, it's you know so what, what is she talking about like you know how can it happen like you know things are stuck and all those things try to figure out what is it that that is blocking you to have uh you know from having what you want uh because for those of you who chose this deck i do see it coming through but for you know, for for maybe for for maybe fifty percent of you are stuck in a situation where you are not having it coming through, and you are waiting to receive this love offer, to receive this good news, because you are stuck, uh, because of your mental blocks around the situation, around this person. Maybe you are feeling like maybe it's never gonna happen. Maybe this person is never gonna you know choose me. Maybe you are having those kind of fears. If you are having those kind of thoughts, you really need to break free from those thoughts. Clear your mind. And start feeding your faith. Start feeding and telling yourself that you can have this beautiful connection coming from this person. And you can start by saying, I'm receiving this love offer. Or I am like, you know, you know, just, just make your own affirmations. You can always reach out to me for affirmation service that I offer. But yes, I do see it coming for majority of you. But yeah, for, for some of you, maybe you are stuck in a situation where you, you don't see it coming. But again, try to break free from the mental blocks that you are having around a situation around a person because then only this good news is something that you're going to you're going to you know share it with the with the close friends and family let's take uh, one card what can you do to break free from this limited beliefs that you might have kind of you know imposed on yourself about this connection about this beautiful love you know relationship or you know your your uh you know it's it's a uh, it's more like you know um Everybody would love to have a happy, uh, you know, beautiful, loving relationship, fulfilling, satisfying one. But what is it that's, that's, you know, that has been stopping you from having it or that has been the reason why you're not, un, you know, why you are unable to have it uh, manifested in your life or have it coming in your life? So let's find out what can you do to break free from that block? What is that block and what can you do to break free from it? King of Wands, Tower, Queen of Swords, Three of Cups. Your mental blocks are that um, this person is happy without you. Okay, one thing. This person is not missing you. This person has somebody else on their mind. They are having fun in their life. So that could be the reason for those of you who are not having it already. 
or those of you who believe that it cannot happen during this coming two weeks time that's your mental block you really need to break free from that you really have to believe in one thing that this person is happy just with you if you go with that belief if you go with that thought that is going to become your reality in the coming two weeks time but if you allow this you know this doubt fear come in your mind and you know where you feel like you know he or she is maybe sleeping around with other girls or men and whatever it is if you go with that belief that is going to be the reality so why don't you focus on the good thoughts positive thoughts and manifest that as your new reality you really need to break free from the mental blocks that you are creating or you have been creating thinking about like you know for those of you um you know who uh you know there there have been people who who always like you know comment like uh you know if this is the case if he or she is going to come back in my life then why he or she is not talking to me um why they are not you know unblocking me why this person is not you know treating me right you you really need to understand why because the why lies within you it's not about that other person it's about you because you have created your mental blocks you you know if you change your your, your thoughts around this person right now trust me the next moment you are going to get something good you can try by um you know um it's 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 more like you know if if you if you wake up in the morning and you start affirming good thing to yourself like maybe this is going to be the best day of my life keep repeating that over and over again maybe for 5 minutes 10 minutes whatever you know uh, how uh, however long you want it to be trust me that day is going to be awesome for you try it the next day start saying you know uh this is going to be the worst day of my life trust me that day is going to be the worst day of your life so the circumstances that you might be in when you wake up would be same but yes you telling yourself something different both the days is going to bring you different outcome so i hope it is as simple as that and trust me you really need to change your thought around this person change your thought around this connection and you will have this proposal coming your way you will have this new beginning happening with this person but for that you really have to break free from this so if and only if you are able to do that by you know um eliminating the negative beliefs thoughts around this person why he or she is not reaching out to me why they are not talking to me like you know like you want them to talk to you you will need to um you know maybe maybe you if, if what if uh, this person is busy what if this person is not giving you time because of your your the responsibilities that they are taking care of right now you really have to you know um think something positive as an excuse instead of thinking the worst case scenario maybe he or she is like you know sleeping with another girl so or maybe you know uh, uh, uh another guy so if if you go with that belief trust me that's going to be your reality so it's again like you know whatever you put your focus on is going to expand and will become your reality it's it's not going to happen in a day or two it's it, it does take time but yes if you keep affirming that yes this man is all mine or this woman is all mine and you know he or she is interested in me or you know say those things and do those affirmations trust me that will become your new reality so right now i do see for majority of you at least for 50% of you you are definitely going to get this good news in your love life for others of you who are stuck right now it's high time that you take at least one week time to affirm good things to yourself and then this is going to be your reality as well so wish you all the best and uh, let's take uh, one card from the romance and jerk cards see let's see what is you know what is the message from this uh, deck for you for this coming two weeks time past life relationship you have known each other uh, before definitely i feel like you know this person is going to be somebody from your past for sure and this is somebody uh, you might have been physical with as well so again um no matter what the circumstances are if you keep repeating good things to yourself thoughts to yourself that will become your new reality and let that thought become your reality and make sure that you are thinking the positive thought not the worst case scenario that that you know majority of people do so just just try to avoid that you know negative thought and this is exactly what you're going to have as as you uh you know end the two weeks time you are going to have that good news that you're going to share with the close people and friends and family and maybe you are going to celebrate that uh you know uh 
that commitment with a, with a specific group of people that you love and care. So yeah, this pretty much it coming up for the people who chose the first deck. Let's move on um, to the second deck. And if the reading resonates with you and if you like to do, uh, like, share and subscribe. And uh, to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on the email ID in the description box. So uh, I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Let's move on to the second deck. Let's find out what is coming up for you guys for the coming two weeks time in your love life. And um, yeah. Let's see, okay, let's see what is coming up for the people who chose the second deck for their love life and coming two weeks time. What is coming up for you guys for the coming two weeks in your love life? What is coming up for you guys in the coming two weeks time? Let's begin. Nine of Swords, Pair of Wed, Three of Pentacles. Let's take one more card with it. Nine of Wands, okay. Sun. Head up with the seven of cups and the knight of cups and the deck four of wands. Wow, I just see um either you or your person is going to hide things uh not from you, neither you are hiding anything from them. It's whatever you are having, whatever you are sharing together, the connection, the bond, the love, the passion, the, the excitement, you are going to keep it to yourself. They are going to keep it to themselves. They are not going to share it with the close friends and family, not as of now in the in the coming two weeks time. If you want this person to talk about you to their family, about, you know, how, you know, if you want them to commit to you and all those things, this is not going to happen. They, they are not going to share it out with the, with the, with the people around them. Reason being, um, they don't want the connection to lose the essence of, uh, I feel that, you know, for some of you, maybe you are manifesting this connection, the, the beautiful bond that you are creating with this person. It's, it's more like a co-creating kind of energy because you, you don't want to share what is building up in that, you know, in that, uh, you know, the secret space of yours. I feel like, you know, there, there is the, um, you know, um, for majority of you who chose this deck, I feel like, you know, you are going to keep, in, you know, you are going to keep your love life secret. And if you are not doing that, trust me, do that because that's going to bring you what you want. So again, try not to share each and every detail of your love life with the close people uh, and friends and family. Try to keep it secret between you and this person. And um, till the time comes when, uh, when you both are so sure of uh, taking it to the next level. Don't share it out with the people close to you even because I do see that there, are, there, there might be some people in your love life who could kind of, you know, try to, uh, sorry, there, there could be people in your life who could try to manipulate the, the energies around the love life situation that you are having. So if you have been like, you know, always that uh, thrilled and excited to share the good news about your love life with others, try not to do that. During this two weeks time, try to keep it personal, try to keep it like, you know, secret between you and this person. And now... Um, and just enjoy, like, and you know, just enjoy being in love. Just enjoy being, um, being happy with with this person. I do see, uh, I do see that you are going to be talking to this person a lot, whoever it is. Like, you know, uh, for some of you, it could be somebody that you already know. For others of you, it could be somebody new as well. But whoever it is, you really have to keep your love life, you know, secret. Don't don't share it out. Don't don't. Uh, let people know what is going on in your love life. Don't tell them that, you know, he's, he has committed to you and stuff like that. Because there are some people in your life who are not, you know, who are not uh, positive enough about this connection. So just try to keep it protected. Um, let's find out more about this person, who this person is, and what is what else is going on in your love life with this person during the coming two weeks time. But yes, you have to keep your love life secret till, till you... Um, till you um, Especially if you are manifesting it. If you are manifesting it, don't tell anyone that you are trying to use this scripting technique, this, you know, affirmations, this and that with anyone until and unless you get the outcome. Once you have gotten that, you know, the outcome that you desire with the manifestation techniques, trust me, you can share it out. But don't that, uh, don't do that before, before, before time. So let's see what else is coming up for the people who chose the second deck. What else is coming up for you in your love life with this person and this connection? Let's find out. Wow. <laughs> For some of you, there, there could be another person in your life who is trying to figure out, uh, asking about you and your person. You know, there could be somebody in, in, in your life 
who is trying to get the information what is going on in this person's love life that person could be a uh, very uh, very uh, manipulative so again it's better if you don't share it out not even with your close you know close uh, people maybe if you feel like you know you have a best friend you want to share it out with them no don't do that because there is this you know energy coming from a from from a group of people or one specific person which is not positive so try to keep it you know keep keep uh keep yourself away from that so let's see what else is happening for you guys for the coming two weeks time in your love life let's begin wow good news good news good news uh nine of cups uh seven of swords tower lovers under the deck you do have the strength um, for those of you who are manifesting something in your love life, trust me, you are going to get it when you are least expecting it to happen. Um, if your person had left you for, for whatever reason, they are rushing back to you. And again, don't let people know, oh, I manifested this. Oh, I did this. I did that to, to bring this person back in my life. Don't do that. You are getting your wish fulfilled. You are getting what you want with this person, but don't share it out. Don't let the people know that you have used something to attract this person back in your life because I do see you getting what you wanted. Um, so just keep it secret. And for some of you, um, <laughs> maybe even after manifesting this connection, still, you have to keep it secret. Don't don't share it out with the with the people because they can manipulate the story and create you know issues for you later on. So try to keep it very secret and just keep it to your heart and keep it between you and God. Maybe that's gonna work out very well for you. So um, but yeah, I do see reconciliation of some kind with a specific person because I feel like you know um, out of nowhere something's gonna happen in your love life, which is definitely going to be. Um, very beautiful for for you the positive energy is like you know yeah um, it's it's um it's just gonna brighten up your day and maybe that's gonna be the reason why you're going to feel like you know sharing it out with the with the with everyone but don't do that and uh, especially you know even if you have to share it out um don't tell people what you did and how you did things to manifest it don't do that Let's see one card. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Don't uh, don't share um, what you're using because it's uh, it's gonna make the situation awkward. Not even with with the person that you are manifesting. Not with the, anyone else. Because I feel like you know. Um, they are going to, I don't know, I, I'm picking up like an energy of a manifester, like, you know, who is, you know, attracting somebody's passion, love for them. And then, like, you know, if you share it out that you, you use something, the manifestation techniques and all those things to attract a person back in your life, you are going to feel bad if they get to know this. So try not to share it out with the close friends and family. Maybe they are going to leak out the inf information to this person, which is going to make you feel like, you know, I was pretending to be all good without them. And, you know, then they are going to know that you have been addicted to them all, all this time. And you've been trying to manifest this person all this time. So try to just, you know, just uh, keep it between you and God. So so nobody gets to know the secret. So yeah, uh, this uh, that's pretty much it coming for you for the coming uh, two weeks time in your love life. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.